Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to pass the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. If you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow and keeps me motivated. Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, The Sun. This person is really thinking about all those happy memories you shared together. You could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer. Those are the only two major arcanas here. So this person is thinking about all those happy memories you have shared together. They're also like almost like contemplating and um, analyzing a lot about what happened between the both of you. Like all those happy memories and then and then all the tower moments or whatever disagreements, arguments, whatever happened between the both of you. This person is thinking about both sides of the coin. They're also thinking about like how much you brought to the table, what they did. So this, this person is re-evaluating, calculating everything. They are in a very, very like analytical mind. And with the sun here, they are ga gaining some sort of clarity. The sun is also about warmth. So they miss your warmth. Six of cups, the sun, they do feel this strong connection with you, no matter how much they try to ignore it. And they miss you. They miss the connection that you both had. Now, with the queen of cups, You are thinking about all the love you gave to them. You are thinking about your own emotions. You are, you're almost like the eight of swords came out in reverse. So you were stuck in your feelings for a long time and you have managed to unstuck yourself from your feelings. So you are looking at your feelings. You are thinking about your feelings. It's very possible that you almost drowned in your emotions when it came to this person. You are a water sign after all, Scorpio. So you might have felt like, you're almost drowning in your emotions when it comes to this person but right now you are trying to be you know let universe do its thing you focus on yourself you take care of yourself while the universe does what it needs to be done you are trying to get unstuck from this person you are trying to get unstuck from this connection okay of cups seven of swords the tower judgment okay you could be dealing with a scorpio strong scorpio energy here so you could be dealing with another scorpio uh gemini Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Okay. There are very a lot of fixed energy in this uh, reading here. So you could be dealing with another fixed sign. Oh, 
all right. You're trying to make a choice about whether to let go of this connection or not. You're trying to make a choice about whether to complete, end this cycle and move on in life or whether you want to give more to this person, give more to this connection. You're also trying to understand what makes you happy here. Like you're trying to feel happy all by yourself. This is the kind of feeling uh, I'm getting here. Like you are giving to yourself. You are emotionally taking care of yourself and you're focused on your own happiness. When it comes to this person, you, th this person really, really made you happy. And it really almost like breaks your heart and makes you feel sad that you have to let go of this connection, let go of this person. You have to accept the fact that this connection might never work out between the both of you. Especially with the tower card in their energy, in their feelings. So definitely some tower moments has happened here. Now, how they are feeling, this person might be strategizing. As I said, they're strategizing a lot. Like seven of pentacles, seven of swords. So internally, this person is going through a lot. They're strategizing, they're playing, sorry, planning, they're thinking, playing. They could be, you know, thinking about how to play you. Hmm. Basically, they're thinking about how to use the words in certain ways so that they can have you back in their life. With the judgment here and the feelings, this person definitely wants another second chance with you. They are very aware that this tower happened between the both of you and this is the reason why both of you are not happy, both of you are not in a good place. They are also thinking about strategizing and thinking about how this tower moment like how to avoid this tower moment between the both of you the next time something happens. Like how should they be talking to you so that this tower doesn't happen again? Because they really want another chance with you. They really want to revive this connection. So this is this person strategizing and planning about how to come towards you so that the tower moment doesn't happen again. Okay, let's clarify the cards. Yeah, they are thinking how to collaborate with you, how to work on this connection. Bottom of the deck is two of swords. They could be feeling like very much in this crossroad kind of energy of not knowing where to go, how to do it. Feeling very confused within themselves. Really, really thinking a lot about this tower that happened between the both of you. of the deck is page of wands so they want this and the empress so they want this new beginning as i said they want this new beginning with you they want don't want this cycle the world here they don't want this distance between the both of you they don't like this cycle ending between the both of you so they do want to communicate with you pages talks about messengers pages are messengers so they want to communicate with you but is this problem with this person that they are trying to think too hard it's almost like they want to they are sitting down and writing down all the ways they should be talking to you, communicating with you, telling you things so that another tower moment doesn't happen between the both of you. Also, they are trying to revisit whatever you said in the past, whatever conversations, arguments, disagreements happened between the both of you in the past. This person is revisiting all of those conversations and trying to think and find new ways to communicate with you, better ways to communicate with you. The judgment here, this person could be going through an awakening or it's just simply they are waking up to their own issues, waking up to their own problems here, like what they did wrong. Yeah, they're waiting for a new beginning here. This person also could be, you know, like trying to really work hard here. Mm. 
distracting themselves with work it is possible that this person is doing that also could be receiving some karma they have received this karma which has made them aware of you know how to do things differently they are realizing the mistake because of karma you have a lot of passion for this person you want them you really want them but at the same time you you realize you understand that you you can't be in this queen of wands energy it's almost like you are trying to temper that fire inside of you trying to balance yourself out this person really could have thrown you off balance in the past and you're just trying to balance yourself out yeah you're trying to balance yourself out two of pentacles and we have the Ten of Cups again. It's almost like this energy of you trying to feel happy, be happy all by yourself. Alright. Okay. Let's see actions here. of wands the chariot four of swords the devil queen of pentacles king of cups bottom of the deck is page of cups so if you have been waiting for an apology this is what this person is going to do but with the king of cups coming out in reverse with the page of cups the way this person is going to approach you the way they are going to make this move towards you come towards you it is going to be a bit manipulative this person might try to emotionally manipulate you with, especially with the devil energy here they are obsessed with you they want you it's almost like they want you by any means and method they can possibly find. And that is why they don't, they are going to emotionally manipulate you. It's almost like this person will think, think that because they want you bad, it's okay to manipulate you. And that is why the seven of swords energy was already there. The seven of swords, the devil is not really a great energy. With the king of cups in reverse. So be careful of the manipulation. Be careful of this apology that is coming towards you because it might not be what you were looking for. This person might have some different sort of agenda, almost like getting you to give them another chance by hook or by crook. Okay, so... With the four of swords here, you're still trying to heal. You're not going to try to break the silence. With the chariot coming out in reverse also, you, you are not going to make any movement. The chariot talks about movement. The char chariot is about the journey, movement forward. You are not going to try to make that movement forward. You are not going to apologize to this person. And this is when this person will realize that because you're no, not making any moves, they might be scared that you are just moving on from them, letting go of them, especially with the two of wands coming out in reverse. This person might be really scared that you are letting go of them and that is why they will decide to come in and 
Have you back in the life by hook or by crook? Yeah, they are the ones that have to take that leap of faith. The star at the bottom of the deck with the moon. So three major arcanas, the fool, the moon, the star could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Capricorn. The moon talks about secrets, the moon talks about the unknown, the moon can also signify this manipulative sign, sorry, manipulative energy. Like this person will really try to manipulate you because they really want you back. The star, they miss your healing energy. You could have a very, very healing effect. The Queen of Cups came out as the first card. So you could have a very, very healing effect on this person. And they miss the healing energy. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to fix this situation. They're romanticizing about you a lot. Nine of Swords, thinking about you a lot. Almost wondering if you are still single or not with the Nine of Pentacles. King of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse. The reason this person will try to manipulate you because they feel like they are going to miss out on you. They want you back badly and they don't want to miss out on this opportunity with being you. Also, if you are already married to this person, this person might feel like you are ready to give them a divorce. You're ready to break up, ready to let go of this person once and for all. And this is when this person will try to come in and try to manipulate you. They still have secrets. They are still, there's some insecurity, some scared, something is going on with the moon. There's something you're not seeing, you will not be able to see clearly properly. Death here, your energy. Scorpio energy. Yeah, they don't want this connection to end. And that is why two of cups. They have feelings for you. They want you. They don't want this connection to be over. They don't want you to move on and give your cup to someone else. Yeah. They don't want to want you to be looking for other options. Moving towards other people. It's almost like this person already feels like your back is turned towards them. Yeah, look at that. Four of swords again. Bottom of the deck is three of swords, five of cups. They already feel that you are trying to just heal yourself from this connection. You have almost given up on this person, given up on the happiness, and you are, you just, you're focused on the sorrow, you're focused on the pain, and you're just trying to heal yourself. They know, they are aware that they cause you a lot of pain. And look at that, bottom of the deck is karma. This person uh, could seriously, I, I guess I mentioned it, this person could be receiving some sort of karma or has received some karma here. Ace of Cups. Them receiving their karma is making them realize your value. They are realizing your value. They're also regretting a lot with the tower here. Regretting about what, how things happened between the both of you. How things ending be, ended between the both of you. And look at that Ace of Pentacles again. Two Aces here. You also have uh, King of Cups and Queen of Cups together. So this person might think that you both complement each other very very well. And again the Queen of Cups energy repeated here twice. The King of Cups energy repeated here twice. They re this person really believes that you both are meant to be with each other. And that is why it's whatever manipulative techniques they can use, it's all right. It's okay. They can't do it because you two are supposed to be together. This is a very toxic energy you're dealing with. So, yeah. Well, that's your reading, Scorpio. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.